Hey guys, Jonathan here, and with the LEGO Ghostbusters Ecto-1 rumored to retire at the end of 2024, I wanted to finally make this video. And first and foremost, thanks to LEGO for providing the set for me to be able to make this video in the first place, but the actual set itself, of course, is based off of Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is a great Ecto model, but I really wanted it to look like the original movie's 84 model, and there's a great instruction book that you can follow on Rebrickable by a user named PsychoWard666, who built this out. And I also want to give a shout out to my friend Tommy C. Bricks, who made a video uh, about this quite some time ago that's really great, and you should check his video out as well. But I just wanted to highlight how relatively simple it is to turn the Afterlife model into the 84 model. So I will say that the instructions did have a couple parts that left me a little puzzled as far as like what to do. But the cool thing is if you follow those instructions, you literally only use pieces that come in the actual set, which makes it really convenient because you don't have to like, you know, buy extra pieces or anything like that. The majority of the build is exactly the same, right? Like the front looks the same. We're putting the stickers in a lot of the same places and all the functionality up front works just the same. And just for a quick little review of that, of course, we've got the interior, which uh, I'll be showing you some more up close shots of right now with the doors opening and the steering wheel turning to move the front wheels and all that. So a lot of that stuff stays the same. But what really changes on this model is adding the ladder to the correct side as it was in 84. Of course, if we open this door, we can also open the back door here and see all kinds of extra detail on the inside. So let's take a closer look there. So as you can see, we have to rebuild the door basically, and it only has one hinge that sits under this seat, but we also have another seat tucked right there that is a little tricky to see on camera. But of course, I added the little Stay Puft Marshmallow bag there from the original set. And then we also have some computer work in there, as well as this piece here, which when we come up top, we could actually twist this to be able to move the tires. So we've still got a lot of great functionality in here. And of course, having the two seats in here would hypothetically let all four Ghostbusters fit into the Ecto, which works great. And of course, having this little computer built off into the corner is really great as well. Now we can open the other side, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so the front door opens just like usual, and you can twist the steering wheel to move the wheels up front just like before. And of course, the door opens on the side here, so we could see a little bit better for the computer on this side, which looks really, really great. We've got the tubes that go up, and basically everything remains the same. Also, when we move the vehicle, you could see that those pieces on the top spin just like the original model. And now that brings us to the back door trunk, which can open. And as you can see, I added in the ghost trap in there, just like they say in the set. And I built my own proton pack with the spare pieces and kind of mounted it on the wall there. So it does look really good. You can't complete it, you know, with the gurney and extra proton packs without buying more pieces. But with what was made available in the set, I think that this works really, really well. It's not all that different from the official set, to be completely honest with you. But if you're a crazy, crazy Ghostbuster fan like I am, it does make sense that you want to make some of these very, very small mods to make it more accurate to the 84. So big shout out again to LEGO for providing the pieces for me to be able to build this by providing the set. So thank you to LEGO for that. And shout out to Tommy C. Bricks, who has a great video talking about this very same mod and some extra mods that he made on his own, as well as Psycho Ward 666 who did the instructions, which I've linked rebreakable in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts on this mock build. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.